Uh, and when you talk about those initial symptoms, they also may overlap with a lot of different things, flu or COVID. Uh, I do want to talk about COVID. COVID cases are on the rise. Uh, that is clear based on just taking a look around you. Uh, the subvariant called BA5 is what's mainly circulating in this country. So would you call this a wave, a surge? What's going on here? Yeah, I think we're going to call it a surge before long. I'm seeing more and more cases every day. People call in and say, I have a positive test. What do I do now? What I tell them is, first, how are you? I look at my chart and say, are you over age 50? Are you younger than that? Do you have some kind of underlying medical condition, diabetes, heart disease, kidney disease? Are you frail? Well, then those folks need to get Paxlovid. Those pills do work well if you start them early. But this virus, no question, it is, it is the fastest virus we've seen in two and a half years of this pandemic, Sonia. So, Dr. Winter, it feels like we can never catch up with all these variants. We're waiting on Omicron-specific vaccines. Uh, but now I'm starting to read about a new highly mutated variant. It's BA2.75, nicknamed Centaurus. So this is spreading around the world. So how much protection can these vaccines that we currently have really offer? Yeah, Centaurus, I thought that was a foreign galaxy or a faraway galaxy, but it's been named that. I think some TikTok guy named it that. And you're right, it's BA 2.75, started in India, not seeing much of this in America right now. The dominant strain here is BA 5, and it's spreading very, very rapidly. Fortunately, the vaccines work for all of the new variants so far. Now, with this BA.5, it doesn't work as well and the, vi the virus, the BA.5, will jump on you when your immunity starts to wane. Now, what does that mean? Well, when you get infected with COVID, antibody levels go up. Your body fights it. If you get a vaccine, antibody levels go up. As they start to come down, that's when the BA.5 can get you, and they don't have to come down very far. In fact, if you've had COVID, you can get this BA.5 reinfection or a new uh, uh, infection with that two months after, sometimes even one month after you were infected. Vaccines work a little bit better, but after five months, antibodies come down enough that you are susceptible to be a five. So the vaccines do work. And if it's been more than five months and you're susceptible or you're worried about getting it, you might want to get another vaccine. And you're talking about the current boosters, just to be clear, whatever's available, you're saying that might give you protection. Or, and I, and I, you know, I want to go over this because we, we're starting to, to hear people say, well, the boosters don't work or the vaccines don't work. We have to remember that these vaccines were intended to reduce the severity of illness, not necessarily infection. That's true. Now, we only have one vaccine available. It's one they developed a couple of years ago, and it does work. It doesn't work if it's been four or five months later. So that's why we are talking about more boosters, but they do work. The Omicron or maybe the new variant specific vaccines are on the horizon, but they're not available right now. And you're right, if you're vaccinated, you may get sick, but it's a mild illness. Most all my patients, I tell them you're gonna be sick for three, four or five days, sore throat, cough, fatigue, maybe some fever. Then most of them get well. Unvaccinated folks, so they're the ones in the hospital. So if you're not vaccinated, you might think twice right now because this new, I'm gonna call it a surge. I think we're gonna be calling it a surge before long. It's coming, and if you haven't had a vaccine, you're likely to get it. Uh, okay, real quickly, Dr. Winter, lots of people getting COVID for the first time at this point. So let's say you have a, a positive test. What can you do to minimize some of those symptoms you talked about? Yeah, first and importantly, isolate yourself. Don't give it to somebody else. But with, uh, with many infections, hydrate, drink lots of water, get plenty of rest. Acetaminophen, Advil, leave all those work for aches if you have those. Uh, Over-the-counter cough medicines work. That's about all that you need unless you're those vulnerable people who need those extra medications like Paxlovid. But most folks get well with over-the-counter medications. It doesn't last very long. Thank goodness. Okay, Dr. Winter, thank you so much. Good to see you. Appreciate